Hi everyone. Hope you're having a great week and if you're off nursery or school this week then I hope you're having a lovely holiday. Today I want to talk to you about the armour of God. I'm sure a lot of you know the God Suit song that we often sing in church and at holiday club. But what does it mean to put your God Suit on? And why do we need our God Suit anyway? Now I want you to picture in your head a knight in shining armour. They used to wear armour in battle to protect themselves. Their armour would be made from really strong metal like iron or steel and chainmail. It would cover every inch of their body from the top of their head all the way to their toes, just to keep them safe. As Christians, we believe in the almighty power of God who stands for all that is good in spiritual battle against evil which is the devil or sometimes called Satan. Sometimes, as a Christian, you might meet people who laugh at you for believing in God, which isn't nice. Or some people might not like you because they have a different opinion. God does not want us to fight with people, but he has given us the tools which we can use like an armour to make the world a better place. So what is our special armour from God made of? And what is our God suit? Well, the Bible tells us, stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So we can't physically see our armour from God, but it is stronger than any armour made of iron or steel or chainmail. So to help you understand, I've made a pretend God suit from some cardboard to help explain. But I need a little assistant to help show you. So I'm going to go and find someone to model my God suit. Okay, I have my beautiful assistant Sophie here to help me. And first of all, the Bible tells us that God's armour has a belt of truth. Here you go, Sophie. Can you put your belt of truth around your waist for me like a real belt? Now, the belt of truth, which is buckled around our waist, means that you're supposed to stand up to what is true. We should always tell the truth and not lie or cheat. The breastplate of righteousness is next. Righteousness means that your righteousness acts like body armour. So here's Sophie's breastplate of righteousness, which is like a big piece of body armour. I'm just going to stick your belt on top. Let me just fix this. Like that. There you go. So, how do you feel, Sophie? Good. I'm excited. <laughs> so, if you're doing what is right or good and living the life that God tells us to, then you will have a strong breastplate of righteousness. The next thing that we've got is your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. This means that you should always be ready to share the gospel with anyone who you meet. Ready, willing and able. If you are not ready to share the gospel, it is like running into battle without any shoes on. So we've got the gospel of peace to go on Sophie's feet. Like that. Oh, there you go Sophie. How does that feel? Um, <laughs> is it tickly? Okay, what is next? Are you ready for some more armour, Sophie? Yeah. Well, the Bible says that we should take up the shield of faith. So your faith in God acts like a shield. You should know very strongly what you believe in and why you believe in it. So here's your shield to hold on to. That's your shield of faith. Well done. You look like you're almost ready for battle, Sophie. <laughs> but there's a couple more things to come. Now, the reading that I read earlier mentioned the helmet of salvation. 
That's got more to do with what God has done for you rather than what you do in your life. Let's try it on. See if we can get this to fit. And then you can still see. Is it on? <laughs> try and not knock it out. There we go. If you can just stand like that and hopefully it won't fall off. So it's to do with what God has done for you rather than what you do in your life. Salvation comes from Jesus Christ alone. The Bible says that if you speak with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. It's the most important piece of armour, that one on your head, Sophie. Salvation. It's the most important one that you have and it only comes through Jesus Christ. Now finally, there's one more for you. Have you got any more space? You hold on to that big sword. Now your sword says the spirit. It's the sword of the spirit is the word of God. Basically your Bible. Your Bible is like a sword. And just like a soldier needs to practice with his sword to be good with it and know how to use it, you should be reading your Bible and practicing the word of God every day. I'm going to just get a shot of you with your shoes and all your armour ready to go into battle. <laughs> well done, Sophie. Thank you for your help. <laughs> now, I've got another beautiful assistant with me now. Hello, Papa. Are you saying hello, Aaron? Are you going to give everybody a big smile? Okay. <laughs> I've, I've got a little experiment to share with you now using these two oranges. I want you to imagine that the one with the skin still on it is like you when you are wearing your armour of God. And this one, which is peeled, it has no armour. The orange with the armour is protected. But this one is much more fragile and it could get broken much more easily, couldn't it, Aaron? Especially if you're around throwing it about, eh? <coughs> this one's a lot more protected, isn't it? So I'm going to put them in that water and see what happens. So first of all, let's put the one with the armour into the water. Uh huh. See what happens. Now try this one, Aaron. Oh, what's happened? He, he just Oh, oh. So the orange without God's armour has sunk right down, right down to the bottom. But the orange that's wearing God's powerful armour has stayed afloat, hasn't it? This is like you and your lives. And by wearing your armour of God, we can stay afloat in our lives. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Whoa! No matter how much things get you down in life, let's push this one right in. No matter how much things get you down in life, and they poke you down and try and hurt you, or bad people, you'll still keep popping back up. But if you take off that armour, Adam, what's going to happen? Let's have a try. You're taking off pieces of the armour. So I don't think that's going to be very good for that person if they've not, if they've got big holes in their armour. They're going to struggle, aren't they? They're going to struggle to keep afloat. Let's take off maybe, a big chunk and see what happens. Maybe because, because they don't believe in God, they don't have God's armour. That's right. Or maybe if somebody's laughed at you, so you're a bit embarrassed to tell them that you believe in God. So it's taking away a big chunk of your armour. You start to sink a bit, don't you? Let's take off that armour and see what happens. What happens then? You do it. That's all the armour has gone. Uh-oh. Sink right back down to the bottom. So I want you all to think about wearing your armour every day, and especially this week, during the craziness of Halloween and everything that's going on. And you can pray to God about it because he would really want to make your armour stronger too. Okay, thanks very much for watching. If you're like me, you will have a lot of old cardboard boxes lying around your house at the moment. So why not see if you can make your own pretend God suit? I've also attached a page for you to colour in this week. So you can ask your parents to print out a copy for you at home. 
I'm sure you'll probably have lots of oranges as well if you fancy trying my little experiment. So let's finish with a little prayer now. Jesus, today I put on the helmet of salvation. Please protect my mind from bad thoughts and help me to focus on things that are good. Please protect my eyes and keep them looking up to you. I put on the breastplate of righteousness. Guard my heart, Lord. Make everything that comes in or out of my heart good to you. Help my heart be open to you and easily led by the Holy Spirit. I put on the belt of truth. Help me love the truth, love to tell the truth and hear the truth. Lord, make me more like you. Let truth keep me from lies and mistakes. I put on the gospel shoes of readiness. Everywhere I go, Lord, help me bring peace. Help me be peaceful. Guide what I do and where I go. Prepare me to tell other people about you. I put on the shield of faith. Lord, build a strong faith in me. With faith, all things are possible. Protect me from any attacks from the enemy. I pick up the sword of the spirit. Put your word in my heart. Lead me and guide me so I am good at all I do. Let your word change my character. Give me boldness and knowledge to love and defend others. Amen. Every morning when I wake, I get ready, I get ready, got my armor for the
got to hide This way, this way, I know you're with me This way, this way, I know you're with me